Baker by the return gets the ball down to the 11 yard line. Mayor Mercer County will take over at first and 10. First size, yeah. No, it's not Kingston. I said it was Kingston. Let's go, Oak! Let's go, Oak! Let's go, Oak! What? They announced starters, I know. Julie's not saying they announced Kingston. Mays on the scramble is forced out of bounds by Luke McQueen. Boss of a yard on the play will have second and 11. on the carry, stopped in the backfield. We'll have second and goal from the two. And it's 
Stevens on the return, wins the ball at the 15, gets it out near the 40-yard line. Out of bounds at the 36, 37-yard line. Casey County will take over, first and 10. Let's go, D! All right, D, let's get a stop. Come on, line! on the scramble, gets the ball back to the line of scrimmage. Casey will have it, second and ten. Evan Stevens 
Bozeman's has met at the line of scrimmage. Casey County faces third and seven. Watch the ball! Evan Stevens driven out of bounds inside out of bounds at the 24 yard line, fourth down and four for the Rebels. Rebel 
Plays pass is incomplete to Ashton Drakeford. Third down and three. County first down. He had a window for a split second, but he couldn't get his shoulders rotated around. It could have been an errant throw had he not done that, but uh, that's going to happen. Nice play by design. And the clock continuing to run down here. That's going to probably bring us to the end of the first quarter. As now Mercer comes to the line of scrimmage, may try to get it off. Trips left, split right. Again to the left. Pistol formation. Fakes the handoff to Griffith. Mays keeps it, bounces it out to the right, gets close to the sideline. Got a flag come in as he's going to be forced out of bounds after he gets down back to the line of scrimmage inside the 10. It's going to be holding against the Titans. Hmm. As the quarter comes to an end, Thompson Service Center scoreboard at the end of one. It's Mercer County. T County Zero. Back in one minute on your hometown radio network. When two flavors collide, the result is something magnificent. Co-starring chocolate alongside peanut butter. The peanut butter crunch McFlurry vanilla soft syrup with crispy cereal mix and chocolate peanut butter cookie pieces. Critics are giving this five stars. I'm a critic and I give this five stars. See, told you. And I'm using a movie trailer voice, so you know it tastes good. The peanut butter crunch McFlurry. Rated T for tasty at McDonald's of Danville and Harris. What does it mean to believe in something, to truly support and get behind it, to be committed and invested in making sure it succeeds and grows? At First Financial Bank, we go beyond banking, providing resources for dreams that matter and giving back to projects that make a difference. As our family grows, our commitment to serve the community grows with it. First Financial Bank, because together we're better. First Financial Bank, member FDIC. Located in Harrodsburg at the corner of College and Childs. All right, welcome back. Well, I hope we got this on replay, guys. <laughs> that was that was incredible. Pass, uh, I believe, was caught by Cameron Bottoms as they ran, an, I guess, an untimed down at the end of the quarter there. Which I, I've never seen that. If it's it, a replay. Watch yeah. it. 27-yard touchdown. It, he just reached around the defender. He was in great position. He just reached right around him and grabbed the ball. All right. Pots on for the extra point attempt. Mays puts the hole down. Potts kick is nice. up, and the kick is good. That'll make a score 13-0. to zero. Titans on top, and 
Before we get into that, that uh, Cameron Bottoms Touchdown Catch is sponsored by Dr. Jennifer Nichols and her staff at the Harrodsburg Dental Center in downtown Harrodsburg. Every time Mercer scores, you can score a job with Nesco Resource. Jobs are available in Harrodsburg, Danville, and Stanford. Call 859-238-0058. And talk to me about that play. And, uh, you know, First of all, I guess we should say that the holding penalty was accepted. Which Yeah, and that. I've never seen a, you know, an untimed play occur. You can't end a game on a defensive play right? or a defensive foul. But uh, I, I'm not sure why they did that. But uh, they come back out uh, and, you know, and set, set up at the 27 and just a, they just a go route, just a simple route, and, and Mays threw it up. And uh, Bottoms just did a – I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better than that. He just reached right around him. He was in great position. Yes, he was. But he just reached right around him and and uh, somehow was able to, to hang on to that ball. I thought they were going to give us the favor due to a joint possession, but when we see the replay, we watched it two or three times here, he just ripped it away from the defender. Yeah. And, you know, that's your leading tackler on our football team that just yeah. made that play. Nice job, number 20, Cam Bottoms. Goes down as a 27-yard touchdown pass. Potts will kick it off as we start the second quarter now. 4-12 to go in the first quarter, and Lincoln and Bull are tied up at 7. Here's your kick. Potts with a bouncing kick down the field. It's going to be filled at 29 out across uh, the 35 <laughs> and just hit hard into a wall there. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that was like one of the, watching one of those crash tests that the car <laughs> auto manufacturers uh, perform. Jeez. Uh, Just got a shout-out from Billy Montgomery, one of our number one fans. Uh, he has found the video on YouTube <laughs> on his big screen. He's about two plays behind, but, uh, yeah. Welcome, Billy. Welcome to, welcome to Friday night down in Liberty, Kentucky. Here come your Rebels. Slot right. Slot left, two by two formation. Actually, three by two. It's an empty set. Casey, it's our own 37. Three receivers to the wide side. Motion across, jet. Handed off to nice. Stevens. Oh. He does break out of a loss Boom. of tackles in the backfield and gets positive yards as he crosses the 40 out close to the 41. You know, it's interesting. They, they don't run a traditional jet. The, the runner comes across about half speed and just takes the toss. But there was nothing there. Uh, Mercer had two defenders in the backfield, had him. and They uh, had him for a loss. Still able to get almost four out of it. It's going to be second and six. Twins to each side, two by two. Shotgun, one back. Motion across, creates trips. Price rolls out. It's going to throw back across the grain, and the pass is going to be caught mm. right at midfield. Let's get a replay on that one. Pass is called by number five, Caleb Brown, and that results in a first down for the Rebels. Price looked like a gunslinger on that when he threw it from his waist, uh, threw it back against the grain. It was a nice throw. Mahomes looked to it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Slot right, split left. Price under center, eye backfield. Fakes a handoff, rolls out to the right. Throws on the run, pass too high, Ooh. and off the hands of the receiver and almost intercepted by Drakeford. He was there. That's what you run your big tip drill for. Amen. And, uh, he was almost uh, almost to the house on that one. That's a good secondary unit that the Titans has put on the field, and Drakeford's like a vacuum out there. Speaking of a tip drill, did you see the end of the West Virginia-Houston game last night? I did not. No. Yeah. I'll have to watch that. Yeah converted on a Hail Mary from the right at the 50-yard line on oh, the wow. very last play of the game that was tipped up in the air. Two by two formations. Shotgun one back. Price fakes it. He's going to keep it. This time coming around the right side. Has some room. Lowers his head. And he gets down close to the 44, looks like. Number 15, Miles Haygood on the tackle. So what was the outcome of the game? Uh, Houston. West Virginia scored to take the lead with like 20 seconds to go and had an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on the celebration, which meant they kicked it off from their own 20, I believe, and they had to return out to about the 40. They ran one play, just a quick out for like 10 yards and had uh, one second left on the clock when they threw the oh pass to the end zone. 
Bunch left into the short side, split right. Shotgun one back. Give it reverse. to Stevens. Here's a reverse coming back around the right side. They have some blockers out there. Breaks one tackle, and the Titans hit him hard right at the 40-yard mm. line. Be interesting to see on the spot. For Mercer County on that big hit. J.J. Goodman. This is going to be enough for a first down right at mm. the Mercer 40-yard line as they'll move the chains. Play was set up nicely. Uh, Casey County had a lot of green out there on the edge, but Mercer did a good job. J.J. Goodman closing quickly, and like you said, Gary, you uh, delivered a nice blow. It was number 11, Noah Pennington, on the carry for the Rebels. Splits to each side. Price under center, eye backfield. Price will give it to Stevens up the middle. Got some room. Bounces it out to the far right. Going down the sideline inside the 20, 10, 5. And there's the touchdown signal. It is a touchdown. 40-yard touchdown run for Evan, Evan Stevens. Once he got to the sideline, he was hauling the mail. As the Rebels will line up now for the extra point attempt. On for Casey County is number 15, Arnofo Mejia Mendez. You did a nice job at that, Gary. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> High snap, mm. and kick is up, and it is good. 9.08 to play in the first half. It is Mercer County 13, Casey County 7. Back in one minute on your hometown radio network. Saturday night. Coach Stoops and his squad are going to do a little tiger teaming. Let's win this thing as a team. Let's go, baby. Missouri Tigers and your Kentucky Wild. Guys. The pregame show starts this Saturday evening at 5.30 with kickoff at 7.30. Salt of your home for the Cats in the hits. WRMZ FMC 105. Go Cats! For over 35 years, Hitachi Optical Americas has developed cutting-edge products and smart technological solutions that support the global automotive industry. With over 1,000 employees located right here in our Harrodsburg facility, our dedicated workforce is the foundation of our sustained success. If you'd like to know more about joining our amazing team, visit us online at careers.hitachi.com. Hitachi Ostomo Americas is an equal opportunity employer. All right, kickoff is short. It's going to be fielded by Griffith over on the far side. Breaks the tackle, gets to the middle of the field. Now he cuts it back. Has some room down the far side. He's across the 50, Come and he is going to be tripped up and tackled inside the 45, down around the 43-yard line. He worked around there for about five yards, just cutting right, cutting left, cutting right, cutting left, trying to find a lane and found one and then just burst into it. Nice returns tonight by Griffith, huh? Great field position. Good return to set Mercer up with nice field position after Casey County answers with a score of their own to cut the lead 13 to 7. Second quarter, 8.56 to play. Mercer at the Casey County 43. Slot right, split left. Shotgun, one back. Hayes drops, pump fake. Pumped it. Going, looking for Drakeford, nobody there. Now he's trying to hustle out. Cuts it up inside the 40 and tackled down close to the 36-yard line. You know, the pump fake beat the corner, but when the receiver got into the second phase of that route, the strong safety rolled over and it, it was covered. He made the right decision not to throw it. Horn Home Supplies at your service when you're ready for replacement windows, siding, and many other home improvement projects. Call Matt Horn at 734-7668 for a free estimate. Horn Home Supplies says, Go Titans! Bunch right to the wide side of the field. Perry split to the left. Pistol formation. Mays will give Whoa, it to Gator. Davis, and Davis is hit in the backfield and wrapped up, and it's going to be a loss back outside the 35. 
That's big number 74, Luke McQueen. He's going to go to a D1 school, uh, according to what we heard in pregame, and uh, participate in track at one of the larger universities. He is a big young man. A loss of one, so it's going to be third and long four. Bunch right, Perry, Bottoms, and Drakeford. Third down and five here as Mays takes the snap. Fakes handoff. Pass is going to be caught by Drakeford. Tries to break out of a move, and he gets tackled right at the 30-yard line, and that will be enough for another Pioneer Pawn Shop first down. You know, it was, it was a lot of fun to watch them work on these timing routes the other day in practice. They did it in a skill drill period, and then they came and brought it together in team. And, and these guys just, they, they predicate themselves on, on just a beautiful, stiff route. Sticking that foot in the ground, getting that head around as quick as possible. Splits to each side. Shotgun two back. And we're going to get timeout Casey County. As Mercer will have it first and 10 at the, at the Rebel 30. A um, little bit more fast pace here so far as offense. Both teams has picked it up here in the second quarter. Watch these coaches on the monitor. Coach is talking to his quarterback about his decision-making and so forth. They leave so much up to the quarterback, too, to decide on. I mean, if there's there's a series of reads uh, on, on each and every play uh, through the air and on the ground. Uh, just going back to the to the offensive plays, you know, designed for that that soft zone. And so they're creating, you know, they're finding the open space. And, and a lot of it is timing and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the receivers are doing a, a very good job of one, just fulfilling their their role and and being disciplined and and uh, when you do that, it it creates a lot of issues. It sure does. Splits to each side. <clears throat> Drakeford's lined up at the left side tight end this time. There will be the Titans will be in shotgun two back. <laughs> Cover four for Casey County. Mays keeps it after the fake, comes to the right side, cuts it up, finds oh, it up inside the 25, goodness. 20, 10, 5, jumps over a defender at the 5, and he's in for a touchdown, Titans. Guys, you can't coach this. I mean, there was, a, there was not a lane, and a stutter step and a cutback created a vacuum, and, and Yeast just made a spectacular run. Watch this on the replay. Watch this set the corner, get up in the lane, get back outside, get skinny, Boom. Touchdown. Mays 30-yard touchdown run is sponsored by Dr. Jennifer Nichols and her team at the Harrodsburg Dental Center in downtown Harrodsburg. Also, Mercer scores. You can score a job with Nesco Resource. Jobs are available in Harrodsburg, Danville, and Stanford. Give them a call at 859-238-0058. Titans going for two, and Griffith just walks, walks in. into the wow. end zone right up the middle for the two-point conversion wow. is good. And with 6.54 to play first half, it is now a Titans 21, Casey County 7. Back in 30 seconds on your hometown radio network. Danville Dealmaker, Bob Allen. Our new road to Bob Allen Chevrolet. Hi, I'm John Welsh. Lease a new 23 Chevy Equinox LS front wheel drive for only $159 a month for 24 months. $41.99 plus first payment and taxes due at signing. 10,000 lease miles per year. Stock in 24081. Must be GM lease loyalty. Bob Allen Chevrolet on Maple Avenue in Danville or shop online anytime at BobAllenMotorMall.com. All right, Titans have scored, and guys, I, I think you got to really say that Denim Griffith's kickoff returns, the last two he's had, has wow. really set Mercer up in good field position to they start sure their have. drives. And, yeah, down to the uh, 11 of the, for the opening kickoff, and then there at the 43, I mean, you can't uh, – it, it's hard to defend that uh, defensively when you're when – you're, But, you know, we've, we've talked about Mercer's kick coverage team. They've made a lot mm -hmm. of improvements this year, and also their return team has, has uh, really started – to come on here as the season's progressed. Watch these young men fly down the field. The, the lane relationships to the football. 
Potts kicks it. Another dribbler right down the middle of the field. Takes fast. a high bounce over the head. And Casey is trying to pick it up. They do so. Boom, 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 and he boom. is going to be wrapped up and taken down right around the 25. Cam Bottoms, one of the headhunters down there. That ball had the perfect bounce at the time just to go right over that guy's head. And then once it once it hit the ground, it was all over the place. It and sure that's, was. Those, those are the ones that uh, you look at and <laughs> as a coach, you're just like, come on. <laughs> 81, Michael Cox also in on the tackle. Just can't do much about that. No, you can't. It was <laughs> blip, blip, bing. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> blip, blip, bing. <laughs> I'm going to have to add that to the repertoire, huh? All right, first All right. and 10 for the Repel 25. Trips right, split left, shotgun one back. Mercer coming off the edge. And here's Boom. just a straight keep by the quarterback, and he gets out close to the 27. Speaking of that, number 27, Cohen Sanford on the tackle. Price on the keeper. It's going to be second, second and eight. Got a text from Donovan Ellis. A little bit, he's a little ways away from us tonight as well. Texas. Making a comment about how well the special teams looks. Not when we have to agree on that one. Yes, sir. Tell you what, some of the teams we've seen this year, the Rebels have a big offensive line. They sure do. Splits to each side with a tight to the right, motion across the formation. Give it to Stevens. Going around the right side, breaks a tackle, falls forward out. Close to the 30, looks like. It's going to be spotted right on the 30, so it's going to bring up third down and five. The most trusted name in office and home equipment for over 70 years in Danville is Danville Office Equipment. With locations in Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset, DOE is a proud booster of Titan football. You got the big offensive line, and Stevens is no – Yeah. He's, he's not small in stature either, and uh, got decent speed. So he was able to take it to the house uh, last series. Casey in a balanced set this time. Twins to each side. Motion across. Fakes a handoff. Price rolls out to his left. Being chased. Throws on the run. And the pass oh. is going to be caught. Going to see on the spot. All right. At the 40-yard line. Pass caught by number five, Caleb Brown, for another first down for the Rebels. If you look for from where Drakeford came to make that tackle, tackle and the way he made the tackle. I hope we get a replay on this one. It was it was just it was perfect. Yeah, it was a good defensive play. Mm -hmm. Just didn't quite get there in time, but was able to finish it. He came flying in there. Splits to each side. Wing left. Eye backfield. Bryce under center. Handed off to Stevens up the middle. Mercer with a nice Nitten. job that time. Short gain out to maybe the 42. Getting up off the bottom of the pile for the Titans. There's 56. J.J. Goodman. And we had 50. Weston Irvin also in there. Sophomore linebacker. Second down, eight. Clock continuing to roll. Now 4.20 left here in the first half. Mercer leading 21-7 on your Thompson Service Center scoreboard. Uh, Cohen Safford comes in and replaces him. Mm -hmm. He sure did. Price fakes a handoff, looking to throw, rolls out to his right, throws on a run, pass is caught over on the far side, breaks the tackle, and gets into Casey. Or Mercer territory still going down around the 44. Mercer made a nice hit on him, just couldn't wrap up. Had him pinned to the sideline short of the first. Well, the first down for the Rebels as they pick it up down to the Mercer 44-yard line. If you have a wreck, tell the tow truck driver to take it to the professionals, Brent and Devin, at Caldwell Collision Center at 1215 Lebanon Road in Danville. Caldwell Collision Center says, go Titans. Splits to each side, wing right, eye backfield. And off Stevens straight up the middle, and he bounces off a tackle, continues to go, gets down close to the 40-yard line. Pot Mercer might have had him for a no gain mm -hmm. there, but he was able to bounce out of it. Going to spot him at the 40. It'll be second down and about six. Casey has another player coming out with an injury. Mm-hmm.
slot left, split right. High snap. Price is going to keep it. Bounces outside, breaks the tackle, and going to be forced out of bounds over on the far side down around the 37-yard line. It's going to bring up about third and four for the Rebels here. Clock goes underneath three minutes to play first half. Let Alan Goldie at Goldie Financial Services help you with your financial future. Call Alan at 734-4400 or stop by the office located at 116 West Poplar Street in Harrodsburg. Goldie Financial Services member SIPC. Goldie Financial Services says go Titans go. Rebels taking a long time here. You sure are. Three by one formation. Price rolling to this side of the field. Looking, looking. Throws. Pass. He's got a guy down inside the 30. And Brown is going to be forced out of bounds down around the Mercer 20-yard line for a first down. Just a real deep stop route that time. He turned to the outside. And the ball was in flight. Nice throw. Mayor Sam Carr, write-in candidate for Harrodsburg Mayor, says go Titans and go vote. Paid for by Sam Carr for mayor of Harrodsburg. Inside the red zone down at the Mercer 18, first and 10. Slot left, split right. Eye backfield, quarterback Price under center. Turns and gives to Stevens, and Stevens breaks through. Gets down around the 15. A couple of the... Defensive linemen are a little bit high. A little yep. bit high. Reaching. Sink those reaching. hips. Picks up three on the play down to the Mercer 15 yard line. Be second down and seven. A couple of substitutions. 54 coming in for the Titans. Caden Simrall. Casey will line up slot right. Split left. Power back to the right. Shotgun one back. High snap. Price has to go up Oops. and get it, and he feet falls out from under him as he slips back at the 20-yard line. Mercer County Judge Executive Sarah Steele encourages everyone to come to the games and cheer for the Titans this year. Good luck on your quest for a state title. Clock continuing to run. 120 to play first half. It's going to bring up a third down and 12. You know, Casey will get the ball to start the second half, mm -hmm. so this is a huge stop or uh, for the Mercer defense if they could have it here. Doubles formation, two by two. Again, taking a lot of time. Price drops the throw, pressure coming, tries Swing to pass. dump it off. Mercer has some guys out there. Mm -hmm. And wow. he gets through them, but he is hit hard and wrapped up. That was textbook. 51, Gage Bennett on a beautiful open field tackle. Yes, it was. Clock continuing to run. Now underneath 40 seconds. Going to bring up fourth. And looks like 12. Yeah, no game. Casey is going to take a timeout. Wow, that was, that was a big hit. <laughs> it was huge. Good grief. Big Deals online store is now open. Save money on gift certificates to local businesses. Check out the discounts at our website. Mmm. I had to come off the ad to watch the replay. I'm sorry. Hometownlive.net. Big Deals online store. That's a nice deep cleater. So it's going to bring a fourth and 12. Rebels are going to go for it here. Ball spotted at the Mercer 20. So they got to get down to the eight-yard line for the first down. 34 seconds all left to go here in the first half. This could be a huge win for the Mercer defense if they can stop them here. 23 for the um, Rebels. Has uh, something going on with this, the smallest finger there, the pinky finger. But when he uh, came out, a while ago, he, he's the fullback. And yeah. A while ago, I saw him point over at the coach, and he was pointing at his hand or his wrist, that yep. other area. So, uh, and he actually stayed in for that play. So, all right, here we go. Fourth and formation. 12. Split right, trips left. Shotgun, one back. Back loaded to the left of quarterback Price. Price rolls to the left. 
throws back across the field, and it's intercepted. Thaddeus Mays at the 10, out across the 15, 20, 30. Got some runners. Need some help. Across the 40, looking for blockers, and he drives through there, across the 50, and will be tackled at the 47-yard line. Wow. He just shuffled and danced and waited until he could get those seams open, to open up for him. Beautiful interception return. Another. That's 10 for the year for the Titans. Yeah. Watch this return, guys. Watch this monitor. Bloop. Bloop. I love this right here. All right, so Mercer has 17.6 mm. seconds left to go here first half after the interception by Mays has the ball at the Rebel 48-yard line. Mercer should have all three timeouts, I do believe. I believe you're correct. 17.6. Another huge stop by the Mercer defense. Drakeford split to the left. Yates will be in the slot. Cam Bottom split right. Shotgun two back. Looks like they're going to use their first one here. Yep. Something they didn't like about the formation. Oh, actually, they're calling delay a game. Moving it back Ooh. five yards. You know, as you mentioned earlier, there's not been very many flags thrown here tonight. That one hurt. Dr. Jennifer Nichols and her staff want to see the stands filled at all of the Titans games this season. For your next dental exam, call Dr. Nichols' office at 734-5711, located on North College Street next to Pioneer Pond in Harrodsburg. Looks like they gave them the timeout. Yeah, so they just yeah. picked that flag up and... Uh, Moved it back to the KC-48. Uh, that was a huge win, Gary, like you were saying, defensively. Uh, KC knocking on the door there, and again, they've, they've got the ball coming out after halftime, and so that that uh, that's a huge stop for the defense. Guys, this this video footage is is incredible. We're going to have to get Coach East to start holding his play sheet over his mouth so so. We can't see what he's saying, you know. We don't want any, we don't want any plays to leak out or anything like they do in the NFL. You know? <laughs> we don't need any scandals at the high school level. <laughs> this this footage is beautiful. All right, coming back out of the timeout that Mercer took. It's going to be first and 10, 17.6 seconds left here first half. Ball at the Rebel 48-yard line. Bottoms and Drakeford in the slot left. Yates tight right, shotgun two back. Watch Yates take off right down the middle of the field. Mays nope. fakes, drops. Two receiver looking, out. Looking, going to throw deep. Tended for Drakeford, and the pass oh. is off his hands, intercepted by Casey. Coming back up the field, here is Brown. He's got some room, gets over to the sideline, and Mercer will take him out of bounds up around the 40. You know, they kept both backs in that time for max protection. They kept Yates in as well on the right side to protect, and they, they took a nice shot at it. Good coverage there by Casey on the play, and then the ball was tipped, went up in the air, and intercepted. You talk, here's the replay. on You talk about a game of inches. Is it, if this ball is – I really don't know what happened there. I don't think Drakeford was able to get his hands up. All right, so clock at 2.7 seconds. Time for one play here. The ball at the Casey County 38-yard line. Donovan right and at the right corner. Two by two. Shotgun one back. Handed off to Stevens, and he is hit at the line. Met by about four Titans. And that'll bring it in to your first half of play. Thompson Service Center scoreboard at the half. Mercer County 21, Casey County 7. Back in three minutes on your hometown radio network. Harrisburg Tire and Automotive is a full-service auto center providing a wide range of tire and auto care services. They provide customers with tires of all brands and sizes. Harrisburg Tire and Automotive can accommodate vehicles from small cars to dually trucks. They offer a lot of auto maintenance services, including brakes, front-end work, alignments, engine repairs, computer diagnostics, tune-ups, oil changes, and so much more. North College Street next to Napa. Give them a call, 734-4563, 734-4563 for Harrisburg Tire. 
Fall is hunting season in Kentucky, and the good folks at your local electric cooperative encourage you to grab your gun and get in on the hunt. No, we're not talking about a 20-gauge shotgun. We're talking about a caulk gun. And the hunt is for energy-wasting cracks and openings on the outside of your home. For advice on where to start your hunt, contact the energy experts at your local electric co-op. They can help put energy savings in your sights. We're Kentucky's electric cooperatives, and our power is our people. Intercounty Energy at Touchstone Energy Cooperative. They done did it again. Gave a great deal and made a new friend. Where is this, you say? Well, this Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Lawrenceburg is the way. With first class service and a spin of the wheel. Put some extra gifts after your new car deal. Check out the inventory at ChryslerLawrenceburg.com and head on down to US 127 to the new With Us Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Lawrenceburg. Today is your deal of the day, and with us, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Lawrenceburg is the way. Yes, Radio Rick. This is the 20th season of the Pigskin Report. We're going to be live at the Harrodsburg Pizza Hut every Monday night from 6 to 7. We'll be live on WHIR and WHBN interviewing the head football coaches at Danville, Boyle County, Mercer County, Garrett County, Lincoln County, and head football coach Andy Fry of Center College and UK coach Mark Stoops. That's the 20th year of the Pigskin Report. Live at the Harrodsburg Pizza Hut. Monday nights from 6 to 7 on WHBN 99.5 FM, WHIR FM 103.9. And hometownlive.net. Dunn's Barbecue and Catering, located in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Here for your affordable catering needs. Ribs, chicken, brisket, as well as our famous pulled pork. All sides, homemade. Available for weddings, company picnics, family reunions, or just an old-fashioned pig roast. So call 859-734-3675. That's 859-734-3675. Dunn's Catering and Barbecue, 859-734-3675. I'm Sid Dunn, like Michael Herb always used to say. It's not barbecue until it's done. Hi, this is Fred Sizemore, General Manager at Stuart Powell Ford Mazda here in Danville, where we make it easy to do business with us. I want to let you know that we are now offering free pickup and delivery in our quick lane within 20 miles of Danville. Give us a call at 859-238-1190. We will schedule your vehicle for pickup, perform the service requested, and return it to you. Come to Stuart Powell, we can do business with Stuart Welcome back as we're here at halftime, Casey County High School. And our halftime show brought to you by CT Market on Main Street in Harrodsburg. Open Monday through Saturday, serving breakfast and lunch with soups and sandwiches for lunch. Fresh deli meats and steaks featuring old fashioned service and miles of smiles. Stop in and see Charlie at CT Market on Main Street in Harrodsburg, longtime sponsor of the Mercer County Athletics. And uh, Titans. Took the opening kickoff on a big kickoff return by Denham Griffith down to the 11-yard line. A couple plays later, Mercer had their first score of the night. Griffith had a two-yard touchdown run. The extra point kick was no good, and with 9.25 to go, opening quarter, Mercer led 6-0. As Titans were able to hold Casey County on downs, turned them over, Mercer came back down the field, and at the very end of the first quarter on an untimed down with... Thaddeus Mays to Cam Bottoms on a 27-yard touchdown pass. And Potts' extra point kick made it 13-0. Titans at the end of one. The Rebels come back and got on the board for their first score of the night. But 9.08 to play, Evan Stevens had a 40-yard touchdown run as he got to the sideline and outrun the Mercer defense. The extra point kick was good. It cut the Titan lead to 13-7. Mercer answered back on the ensuing drive. Got it down the field, and Thaddeus Mays had a terrific 30-yard touchdown run, breaking a lot of tackles, jumping over defender at the end and into the end zone. Mercer went for two, and Denham Griffith right up the middle for a two-yard conversion, and that gave us our halftime score, 21-7. to Rebels drove back down the field again. Mays intercepted a pass down at the 10-yard line, returned it all the way to the Rebel 48, but Mercer had a couple plays and an interception, and that ran out the half as Casey on the last play, just a couple yards to get the end of the half there. So a halftime score is Mercer 21, Casey County 7, and turning it over to Todd now for stats. Yeah, Casey County on 29 plays has 150 yards total offense. 
On 22 carries, they have 104 yards on the ground. And they are 5 of 7 in the air with one interception uh, for 54 yards. They have nine first downs, and their time of possession is 4 minutes and 52 seconds. Guys, you were talking about uh, the lack of penalties in this game, and there's, there's only been one so far in the first half. But Mercer is 5 of 7 as well uh, for 58 yards in the year. And then four, on 14 plays, uh, racked up 88 yards on the Ooh. ground. So they haven't had to go far with uh, Griffith's contribution and setting them up in the in nice field position. But on 21 plays, they have 146 yards total offense. They have eight first downs, one penalty for 10 yards, which was a holding call. And Mercer's time of possession I, I said 452 for Casey County. Sorry, it was 1424 in Mercer for 936. Uh, some individual stats for the Titans. Griffith has five carries, 41 yards. Mays, six carries for 31. Drake for two carries for 17. And uh, Potts is one of two on his PATs. Mercer was successful on the two-point conversion on their third score. That's your stats. All right. Very good. Well, we'll take a break and come back and talk about the first half and look forward to the second half. When we return, it is 21 to 7. Mercer on top. We'll return back in three minutes on your hometown radio network. Hello, I'm Angela Frisbee at Farmers National Bank. We are excited to support students as they excel in the classroom, play in the band, act in the school play, and as they compete in sports. We wish our students a great school year. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank, member FDIC. April Ellis, 101 Business Solutions. We offer what you need to get your business running. If you need help designing social media posts, we can do that. You need a paper towel dispenser installed, we can do that too. Checks and journals, pens, everything you need to keep your business going each day. That's what we do. You can just give us a call, 734-2726. You can email us at orders at come2101.com. You can reach us through our Facebook page and Twitter and Instagram. Top right for your livestock. Take them to the Bluegrass South Livestock Market where they have crop off hours to fit the busy farmer's needs. Selling your livestock a profitable and a pleasant experience. Save the hassle of a long haul. Sell your livestock at the Bluegrass South Livestock Market, 277 Courtier Road in Stanford. Call Bluegrass South Livestock Market at 606 365 0665. Bluegrass South Livestock Market, Stanford. Chop and save at Bob Allen GMC. Hi, I'm John Welsh. Lease a new 23 GMC Sierra 1500 4 before for only $199 a month for 24 months. 5317 plus first payment and taxes due at signing. 10,000 lease miles per year. Stock number 23327. Must be GM lease loyalty. Bob Allen GMC on Maple Avenue and Danville or shop online anytime at BobAllenMotorMall.com. GMC, we are professional grade. Hi, this is Fred Sizemore, General Manager at Stuart Powell Ford Monster here in Danville, where we make it easy to do business with us. I want to let you know that we are now offering free pickup and delivery in our quick lane within 20 miles of Danville. Give us a call at 859-238-1190. We will schedule your vehicle for pickup, perform the service requested, and return it to you. Come to Stuart Powell, we can do business. When two flavors collide, the result is something magnificent. Co-starring chocolate alongside peanut butter. The Peanut Butter Crunch McFlurry Vanilla Soft Serve with crispy cereal mix and chocolatey peanut butter cookie pieces. Critics are giving this five stars. I'm a critic, and I give this five stars. See, told you. And I'm using a movie trailer voice, so you know it tastes good. The Peanut Butter Crunch McFlurry. Rated T for tasty at McDonald's of Danville and Harrodsburg. Hey, Joe, did you know Big Deals has got something new? Where can I save money now, Radio Rick? We've got the Anderson Lifestyle Boutique in Danville. Buy a $50 gift certificate for a Big Deals price of just $35. Sounds awesome. What do they have? They offer jewelry, apparel, gifts, and home decor. They do embroidery and monogramming. Come and see their selection of comfortable jeans, heavy canvas bags, lamps, art, scratch-made soap sets, natural toy candles. Find the perfect curtains, blinds, and shutters for your home. Sounds great. I know where I can get my wife a gift and save money. 
Please don't tell her. It's up to me. Joe, you like to eat, don't you? You bet. Save money at the Big City Pizza Company in Danville. Another new way to save. Mm, I'd love to have some of their three cheese mac and cheese pizza. Well, get over to hometownlive.net and save on Big City Pizza with a $10 gift certificate for just $7. I'm on it. Pizza night tonight at the Mappas House. You too can save with more big deals at hometownlive.net. Lots of discounts like Bread of Life, Sweets by CEO, Charlie's, Applebee's, the old bus station, and A&L accessories. All right, yeah, welcome back here to Casey County High School. Halftime brought to you by CNT Market. Titans on top 21-7 to here at the half. And um, Todd, I know you had a couple score updates there, or what do you got? Uh, yeah, just one. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it was 7-7 seven to seven with four minutes to go in the, in the first quarter with Boyle and Lincoln uh, knotted up. And then uh, things turned around quickly and, couple of fumbles return for a touchdown a punt return for a touchdown and uh, the last I heard with 659 uh, to go on the half bull was up 42 to 7 Wow also another update uh, in our region uh, Christian Academy of Louisville on top of Louisville Central 7 to 0 at the half also have Gary County and Marion playing tonight don't have a score on that we'll see what we can find out but another big district contest there and uh, Dan, what was your thoughts of the first half? I don't know. It, it just it, it didn't time up well. I know there were a lot of things Mercer wanted to do and do quick, and we had a couple of you know miscues and, and a penalty, and um, I don't know. We just um, we, we're not in our rhythm. As effective as we were with the football on the possessions that we had, we we still just were not quite in our rhythm. You know, we'd like to see everything work perfectly. You, you know, every coach is like that, but. Uh, I, I think they're going to refine some things at halftime and come out. Um, you know, I, I feel like Craig feels we should be two more touchdowns on the board um, in addition to the 21 points we have up there currently. But um, uh, sure enjoying this 17-member uh, band of uh, the Casey County Rebels here tonight. It is homecoming down here. Um, beautiful evening. A lot of people down here from Mercer County, I can tell you that. Uh, the stands on our side are, are packed, and there's some folks across the way. I don't know if they're ours or theirs, but uh, it's a beautiful night for football. You know, the, it's very pleasant outside tonight. When we walked in the press box here today, it was like at 41 degrees, and I went over and took, <laughs> shut the air conditioner off, and somebody's got hot and turned it back on. I've already got on two layers. But, uh, yeah, beautiful night for football, and I, I think you're going to come out and, and see the Titans just explode in the uh, – um, the third quarter. I know they're a little disappointed probably in some of the uh, penetration by the quarterback and the uh, the running back for Casey County, which are good athletes. When when number 10 Stevens has the football, I mean, he's their leading rusher, and he's, he's going to create some havoc, but uh, it's hard to quarterback down. Price has done a very good job as well. Yeah, something a little different, you know, you mentioned homecoming tonight, and they, they did all their festivities before the game, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. we've not seen before, and so it was Nice little twist to things, and so you right. have a regular length halftime. And yeah, well, and their band uh, took up almost the whole entire halftime performance yeah, sure did. because uh, the the teams are now just now coming out with a little over a minute left, uh, uh, plus the additional three that they'll get to get stretched and ready to go. The band did a very nice job. You know, you got hats off to those kids. Seventeen guys, seventeen oh, yeah. young men and women in a band like that, and 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 it did a very very nice job. You know, we haven't talked about this, I don't believe, but and you don't see very many setups like this. I think we've saw it a couple of times. Uh, but this is actually the uh, the baseball field here at Casey uh, where the football field has now been made up across the outfield. It kind of runs from the, uh, mm -hmm. I guess you could say, the left field line out all the way across and through there. And uh, Technically, we're in left center field at this point. Yes, we are. Exactly. And uh, so it's, uh, you know, making uh, use of the space, I guess, that they have available, obviously, to be doing it. So it's uh, challenging to, to make some things happen when you're uh, confined with how much room you have at your facilities. But that's, uh, is, I think Lexington Catholic might have been like that. It seemed yes, like originally. Uh, they had the sport turf there mm -hmm. at their facility. You're, you're correct. Yeah, their, then, uh, their football field kind of crossed over into to the outfield a little bit didn't go 
uh, quite as far into the right to the to the outfield that uh, that we see here, but, uh, but was very it? very similar layout. Where was we at last year? Was it DeSales? Yes, they, just, they had yes. the same setup. Yeah, too, I believe. It sure DeSales. was. Yeah. yeah, I think so. All right. Well, what uh, what's what are your intake on what you're looking for in the second half if you're Coach East? Uh, Perfection. Uh, yeah, just uh, I think offensively we're doing we're doing good things. Uh, I think I think he would like to see a little bit more out of our passing game, but uh, I mean honestly, Casey's doing a, a pretty good job with the coverage, and uh, you know, he's still got the uh, the possibilities of that soft zone and finding those spaces. But uh, you know, I think we're doing a great job up front, and uh, you know, opening up some holes and, and creating some some opportunities on the ground and so i think that'll do nothing but bring some some uh better chances for some some completions in the in the passing game but defensively i I think we saw what some of the adjustments mercer made there towards the end and uh you know stevens hits the line hard but he does uh, he's been stopped quickly several times and so it's uh he's not going to come down easy and i think mercer's uh, finally figuring that out and and uh but I, I think defensively tighten things up just a tad bit more, and, and we're I think we're in good shape. But you can't take plays off, and not necessarily nope. take plays off, but, you know, when you're too high, when, you, when you're wrapping and not grabbing cloth, and the, the runner escapes you, you know, you, you, you just got to gotta get better at it. So got uh, got a couple things going on this weekend for the Titan Nation. Uh, the volleyball team is at Somerset tomorrow. Uh, for a big tournament, and they they start district play. Uh, district tournament starts uh, next Monday at Bergen. Uh, I believe Mercer will play on Tuesday, and so I believe they'll take on Trinity Christian, uh, one of the new schools out of Nicholasville. And uh, again, volleyball, uh, big tournament this weekend. But then the, the band is at East Jessman tomorrow tomorrow night, mm-hmm. uh, competing. And so uh, best of luck to. To both uh, the volleyball team and and the band, I know uh, Miss Ashford does a great job with with the, with our band and uh, not huge in stature, but they they're growing in numbers. But they thirty nine members, job. yeah. If I counted them yeah. correctly the other evening, yeah. And so uh, they are they're in a very tough class, uh, the toughest class in the state, I think. Uh, and uh, so they're facing off with the, you know some of those powerhouses like. Adair County and Essel County and, and so forth, but uh, doing a very good job so far this year. And uh, from the looks of it, you know when they they participate on uh, on Friday nights at our place, they mm-hmm. they get better and better every week. So it's uh, very consistent with with what we're seeing with our football team. And Todd, I went down to the water department uh, earlier in the week, and uh, Amy Kays Huffman uh, mm-hmm. spoke with her, and and she was ever so grateful for. Um, um, Corey Rainey and his group who, who broadcast live. She never misses a game. And so we want to give her a shout out and make her a member of our number one fan club. And uh, sure appreciate that, Amy. And uh, I mean, it's just crazy. We got people in Texas and Georgia and Mercer kicking off here and starts the second half, and it's deep. Deep kick filled by Stevens down to 10. Out across the 15, oh, 20. Wow. Hit hard. Does not go down. And Mercer does come and wrap him up. Golly. But a hard hit there. They are bringing the wood. As he was, Watch uh, this replay. Finished up there by Bottoms, Jackson Perry, and Michael Cox. But I didn't see the number that hit him the first time. Here it is. Watch ready this. To see it. But a nice job as they're going to. 51. Right at the 20-yard line. Ooh. I believe it was. That is a heck of a play. I believe that was Gage Bennett. He's had some big hits tonight. He sure he has. has. I think he's starting to enjoy it. <laughs> I know I do. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Hope we kick it off again. All right, here we go. Splits to each side. Shotgun two back. Price, he's just going to keep it straight up the middle, looking for some room, wow. and he breaks away, gets mm. to the outside, still fighting. It's out close to the 23-yard line, looks like, maybe where they're going to spot it at. 
bottoms came from all the way across the field over here on this side to be in on that, that second scrum. And a, another thing I like to see defensively is, you know, when they, they start wrapping up, we don't stop. And, and yep. they they come and, uh, you know, Casey County's continuing to fight. You know, they, they, they sure do a are. good job. And, but uh, Mercer, that just gives them opportunity to – to really throw some hits. Trips left, split right. Second down, seven. Here's a handoff. Stevens coming to this side of the field. Wright comes up, tries to make a stab, breaks out of that tackle, continue to go, and he will cross the 30. Gets the first down up close to the 33, looks like, on the spot. Best to the Titans this season from Brandon's Barbershop at his new location on South College Street across from Community Trust Bank in Harrodsburg. First down. Ball spotted at the KC 33, first and 10, just underway. Third quarter, Mercer leading 21 to 7 on your Thompson Service Center scoreboard. <clears throat> Slot right, split left, eye backfield. Price turns, gives to Stevens once again, and he is running into a wall there right around the 36, wow. or excuse me, 34. Go Titans from your state senator, Amanda Mays Bledsoe. You all represent your area with class and make me proud to be your state senator. Go Titans from your state senator, Amanda Mays Bledsoe. Give him a gain of two, second down eight. Ball spotted at the Rebel 34. Slot right, split left. Price under center, eye backfield. Fakes a handoff. Price rolling to the right, throws on the run, and the pass is caught over on the far sideline, breaks a tackle. Yates finally comes in and makes the stop, and he is across the 40, and that is an just a little short of the first down, I believe. You know, the bad thing is we, we're we making that first hit, but we're, we're letting the receiver escape. But the good thing is is that nine other Titans are flying across the field. Our overall defensive team speed is super quick. Yeah, they're there, and they're making the hit. and they're, That's the one thing, I think, uh, that I've, I've seen a couple plays. They, they make the hit. And you know it's hard to practice that. Down, yeah. It's hard to practice that. Yes. You know, you, you're trying to keep your team healthy and... Um, just got to wrap up and hang on. Yeah. They do give them the first down up the 43 yard line. Great hustle. Doubles, two by two formation, shotgun one back. Price keep is going to keep it on a roll out to the right side. Cuts it up across the 45. Down the sideline, out running the Mercer defense, and he steps out of bounds after he gets down around the Titan 35. Keeps it around right side. Another big first down for the Rebels yep. on that carry. Mercer County PVA, Jessica Elliott and her staff, Beth, Georgia, Missy, and Faith, wish the best for the Titans this football season. Ball spotted at the Mercer 35, opening drive of the third quarter. Rebels on the move. Trips left, split right. Price will give it to Stevens, and Stevens is wrapped there up this go. time and taken down. Big Kingston Mays was the initial tackler there. It's going to be a loss back to the 36, I believe. Simrau and Yates also in there on cleanup duty. Actually back to the 37, loss of two. Darren, Matt, and Chris at the barbershop offer the greatest hairstyles for men and children. You don't need an appointment, just walk in the barbershop. Located at 501 North College Street in the Minute Mart Plaza in Harrodsburg. Good luck, Titans, from Darren, Matt, and Chris. Slot left, split right. Price fakes a handoff, Whoops. rolls, now he's in trouble, going back the other way. Has some room, and he cuts it up inside the 35. Out of bounds, right down around the 30, looks like. Go Titans from your friends at Monticello Banking Company, the bank that means competitive loan and deposit rates, and a wide variety of financial services. You expect quality, we're here to see that you get it. Paul Monticello Sitting. Bank is Sorry. located at 113 Smoky Way in Danville. Sorry, Coach. Uh, he Mercer had an opportunity to get him in deep in the backfield. He got yep. out of it and 
picked up seven, so it's going to be, looks like third down and five from the Titan 30. Just got an update from Garrett Marion game, halftime. Garrett County up three to nothing. Oh, wow. Hmm. Two by two formation, shotgun one back. Motion across. Fakes it, and Price looking for some place to go, and he's got nowhere there. Tackled by 33, Sanford, and also 56, Simrau for Mercer County, or excuse me, Goodman. Sanford did a nice job coming across the line, not getting too deep. That's one of the keys about playing that end position is not getting too deep in the backfield where somebody can get up underneath you there. It's a loss of two there, so big fourth down here. It's going to be, what, fourth and seven? <clears throat> Rebels getting the play in. All right, here we go. Mercer looking for another defensive stop. Trips left, split right. Price backs up, looking to throw. Throws across the field, and the pass is incomplete down at the 20. And Mercer... Comes up with their second turnover on downs of the night. Another big stop for the defense. Nice job by the Titan secondary and the Titan front four. Titans will take over at their own 32 as Mercer's leading 21 to 7. 647 to go third quarter. Almost a little over five minute drive there, I do believe, Todd. If you need to get rid of stuff, then call the swap shop on WHBN and sell it or trade it. Call 734-4321 to list your items for sale. The Swap Shop broadcasts weekdays at 9.30 a.m. and again at 3 p.m. on WHBN 99.5 FM. Here's Griffiths straight up the middle, out across the 35, close to the 37 on the carry. Picks up about five on the play. It's actually spotted on the 38. It'll be second down four. Splits to each side. Shotgun two back. And we got a flag. Hmm. False start on the Titans. Five-yard penalty. Moving it back. It's going to bring up second and nine. Well, you know, with the Garrett Marion game, if Marion stays in that wishbone a lot. It's probably a, a very fast-moving clock. Mm. Here it's 21-7, Titans on top. Third quarter action, second and nine. Shotgun two back, splits to each side. Casey will bring four. Mays gives it to Griffith and trying to get through, but nothing there. Maybe forward progress out to the 35. It's going to bring up third down and about seven, looks like. I don't think we've had any punts tonight, have we? We have not. No. Have not. What about that? Here comes big number 33 into the ball game. Jacob Sanford. Third down and seven for the Titans here. Two by two formation. Mays takes the snap, drops back, has some time, throws over, and it's intercepted. And he breaks the tackle out of Adam Brown, and he will take it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. Caleb Brown with the pick six on the interception for Casey. And pass thrown into some tight coverage there. You know, one of the comments that Coach East made in practice the other day, he said, I can, he was looking at the quarterback and said, I can tell where you're going to throw the ball. You're looking directly at the receiver. And I think, I think that may have been the case there because when the uh, strong safety jumped that ball, he just stepped right in front and took it away. Casey County lines up for the extra point. High snap, puts it down. The kick mm. is up, and the kick is good. 
4.56 to play third quarter. And it is now Mercer County 21, Casey County 14. Back in one minute on the Hometown Radio Network. Get the top price for your livestock. Take them to the Bluegrass South Livestock Market where they have drop-off hours to fit the busy farmer's need. Selling your livestock a profitable and a pleasant experience. Save the hassle of a long haul. Sell your livestock at the Bluegrass South Livestock Stock Market, 277 Courtier Road in Stanford. Call Bluegrass South Livestock Market at 606-365-0665. Bluegrass South Livestock Market in Stanford. Are you needing a home equity line of credit or need to cover some unexpected expenses? Are you looking for a stable partner you can trust to help you understand your options? This is Hannah Lawson. I'm a loan officer at Whitaker Bank at 928 South College Street in Harrodsburg. As a part of your community, I'm here to help you understand the best options for you today and in the future. Give me a call at 859-733-4990. Let me show you what Uniquely Kentucky means. Whitaker Bank, Uniquely Kentucky, member FDIC and equal housing lender. And there's an onside kick. It is up for grabs. Ball is right around the 46-yard line. Let's we'll see who comes up with it. And the Rebels have recovered it. Actually caught Mercer off guard there as the entire front line was moving backwards, and the ball just took a real high bounce. The Rebels will have it at the Mercer 46. That's how you lose the momentum of the game right there, gentlemen. Yep. Yeah, I can go back to, to the days. Coach Coach French and Coach Smith always talked about you're going to face some adversity at some point in time. It's just a matter of how you adjust to it. And uh, Mercer just has to find a way to make a stop here. High backfield slot right, split left. Gives it to Stevens, straight up the middle, not much there. Titans with a better job that time, stopping him right around the 45. Gain of one on the play. Mm. I shot Mercer defense there. It's 21-14 your score, 435 to play, third quarter. Third quarter, Garrett's now up 10 to nothing on Marion. Rebels taking a long time to get this play. Mm -hmm. Now they come up to the line. Second down, nine. Two by two formation. Actually, three by two. Got a one one wing on the left side off the tackle. Motion across. Price jet. crosses it on the jet sweep, and the running back cuts it up. Not much there at all. They're going to give him right back at the line of scrimmage, the 45. Good tackle. Landon Yates and 51. Gage Bennett on the stop. Big third down and nine here. Mason Kirkland, number 70, also in on that one. Tell you, I've been very impressed with Gage Bennett here tonight. Sure enough. Rebels coming up here, third and nine from the Mercer 45. Doubles to each side, two by two. Price and shotgun. Price drops back. Pressure coming, setting up the screen. He has it to Brown. Coming across the middle, hit at the 40, falls forward down to the 39. It's going to bring up a fourth down. It's going to bring up fourth and about three. And the Rebels look to go for it here. No auction is too large or too small for R.M. McGinnis Real Estate and Auction Professionals. Located at 219 South Main Street in Harrodsburg, R.M. McGinnis Real Estate and Auction Professionals are proud supporters of the Mercer County Titans. Talking about momentum plays, here's one right here, guys. Here it is. Big down. Slot right, split left. Power back loaded to the right. Oh. And Mercer jumped off sides. Mayor Sam Carr, write in candidate for Harrodsburg Mayor, says go Titans and go vote. Paid for by Sam Carr for Mayor of Harrodsburg. Offsides penalty will give the Rebels a first down down to the Titan 33 yard line. First and 10. 220 to play third quarter. 
Slot right, split left. Price fakes the handoff, rolls out to his right, trying to get away from Mays, cuts it up, but he is going to be wrapped up. Jackson Perry with the stop back outside the 35. There were four Titans out there on, on the edge sitting there waiting for quarterback Price. Spotted right at the 35, so a loss of two, second and 12. Rebels have scored here in the third quarter to cut the lead 21-14, recovered the onside kick, and have picked up one first down. Same formation. Reverse. Here's a reverse. Come back. Reverse now they pass. give it back to Price. He's going to throw a flea figure. Got a receiver wide open, and he dropped it into the end zone. As the ball got a little bit deep into his hands and hit off of his pads as he was – about five yards behind the Mercer defense. That's a nice Stay ball. Stay on your man. Nope. It's going to bring up third and 12. That was a great play call right there. Clock stop with 124 to go. Third quarter, Mercer leading 21-14. Come on, Titans. Two by two formation, three by two, three by two. Empty backfield. Motion across. Fake Double reverse. fake, Price looking, going to throw it back deep again. And he is just out of the reach this time. And again, he got behind the Mercer defense. That time the throw was a little bit too long for him, incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth and 12. And the Rebels will go for it once again here. Jackson Perry comes into the game. Here's your play. Price drops back, Green. setting up the screen once again. Pass is caught nice. and hit hard tackle yep. by the Titans right down around the 30. Again, Landon Yates with another big play there. Mercer will take over on downs at their own 30-yard line. That was a big play. Titans did a nice job snuffing out the screen on that one. Hope we get a replay here. Mercer will take over with 112 to play third quarter, leading 21-14 after a big defensive stand there. We'll go back to the last series, and I think the, the play that, that set up the the pick six is uh, was the offensive or the when we jumped off sides. Mm -hmm. Put us back at the second and nine. Yep. Splits to each side. Shotgun two back. Mays is going to keep it. Cuts it up. Breaks the tackle. Nowhere. And is going to be wrapped up right back at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Stevens for Casey County on the tackle. Less than a minute to play third quarter. Titans will take a timeout. We'll take it with them. 21-14 Mercer back in 30 seconds on your hometown radio network. Danville Dealmaker. Shop it and save at Bob Allen GMC. Hi, I'm John Welsh. Lease a new 23 GMC Sierra 1500 4 before for only $199 a month for 24 months. 5317 plus first payment and taxes due at signing. 10,000 lease miles per year. Stock number 23327. Must be GM lease loyalty. Bob Allen GMC on Maple Avenue in Danville or shop online anytime at BobAllenMotorMall.com. GMC, we are professional grade. All right, welcome back. One, excuse me, 53.7 seconds to go. Second and 10 for the Titans. Mays out of the shotgun, takes a snap, gives it to Griffith. Gets behind his blockers, has some room. Crosses the 35, out close to the 36. That's nice good run there. there. Yes. Make it third and four. Much 
Much better situation than a third and hmm. nine or third and ten. Hopefully they'll let the clock wind down. 27 seconds. And they're going to try and get it off. Slot left, split right. Griffith and pistol. Mays gives it to Griffith, and he gets behind his blockers. He's going to be short as he gets out mm. close to the 38. He's going to be picking up two yards. That's going to bring up fourth down. And that will bring it in mm. to your third quarter of play. Thompson Service Center scoreboard. It is, Casey, it is Mercer County 21, Casey County 14. Back in one minute on your hometown radio network. Casey County 14. All right, so I guess we'll keep it right here. As it's going to be a big decision here, guys. I think you have to punt it away, don't I you? I think you do. I think you do because you. you, you mm. The ball is spotted on the Mercer 38-yard line. It's fourth down and two. Uh, big gamble to take here as we're going to get ready to start the fourth. Maybe a hard count to try to draw them off or something, but uh, momentum momentum has been with the Rebels here in the second half. Sure They've is. scored the only points here in the second half. Lawson's Jewelry, since 1941, has always been your hometown source for quality jewelry. Lawson's offers a wide variety of services, including resizing, stone setting, remounting, replacement, engraving, watch repair, and vintage watch restoration. Lawson's Jewelry is located at 105 South Main Street in Harrodsburg. All right, gentlemen, here we go. We are slot left, split right, shotgun one back. Mays, he's going to roll out to the right side, cuts it up, has the first down, and more as he crosses midfield. Taken down around the 48-yard line. Wow. <laughs> Big time play right there. Huge. That's got to be a possibility of a uh, one of our awards on the night. They're going to spot him at the Casey 47. How many did he get there, Tom? 15. 15 big yards on fourth down and two. They didn't waste any time either. No, they, they, they got to the line of scrimmage and went. Came right out of the timeout with the play they wanted to run and executed it perfectly. Here's your formation. Yates and Perry in the slot to the left. Bottom split right, shotgun two back. Hand off to Drakeford looking for a spot and he slips. He gets right back to the line of scrimmage, falls down. It's going to be second and ten. <clears throat> Lee's famous recipe, where the chicken is so good it's got to be Lee's, located on 313 South College Street in Harrodsburg. Just underway, fourth quarter. Mercer leads 21-14 on your Thompson Service Center scoreboard. Perry and Drakeford. In the slot to the wide side to the left to the left. Bottoms is split right. Hands off to Griffith. Looking for the slot. Finds it. Crosses the 40. Gets down close to the 38. Nice hard run mm -hmm. on second down there by Denham Griffith. They're gonna spot him at the 39, so it's gonna be third and two. He made a nice cut on that run. Yeah, he's just so patient when uh, he is. It's almost like a, almost like a stretch play. He's just letting it develop, and he finds the hole and tucks up in it. Slot left, split right. Gun one back. Mays gets behind his blockers, looking for the opening. Patience again there. Nice job. He's going to be pushed out of bounds as he gets down close mm. to the 35. That'll move the chains. And that is enough for another Pioneer Pawn Shot. First down on the carry by Mays. Spot him right at the Rebel 35. Todd, that wall is in my way. 
<laughs> Come on. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Pro right, shotgun two back. Mays gives it to Drakeford behind the block. He's got some room around the right, and Casey comes up in a nice tackle right at the 35-yard line. Mm. Fought with the way that play was developing. He, if he got to the edge there, he had some room and he blockers sure in front of him. Second down, 10. Clock continuing to roll now, 9.45 to play in the game. Twenty-one fourteen Titans. Pro left. Yates at the tight left. Perry and bottoms are your splits. Mays gives it to Griffith. Or it's he keeps it. Faked this all out. Has some room inside the 30. And we're going to see what he's got there. Down close to the 25-yard line. His acceleration, that burst of speed when he hits the edge. Wow. As going to spot him just short of the first down, right at the 26, looks like third down and one. Score 17 to seven with Garrett over Marion right now with 4:31 left in the third. All right. 21-14 here with 8.44 to play in the ball game. <laughs> Titans have it, third down and one. Pro left, shotgun two back. Mercer in a hurry. Hayes gives it to Drakeford, straight up the middle, big wow. hole as he got behind the line. And we'll get the first down, down inside the 20, close to the 19. Drakeford just running with authority on that play. He wasn't going to be denied that first down. Pioneer pawn shot first down at the Rebel 19 yard line. Chewing up the clock as well, guys. Sure is. Nice drive. <laughs> Perry split left. Yates tight right. Cam bottom split right. Shotgun two back. Mays is going to keep it this time. Comes around, has some room Come on. inside the 20, 15, 10. Falls forward down close to the five. Mm. Another exciting run from Thaddeus Mays to pick up another Pioneer Pawn Shop. First down. Titans will have it. First and goal with the five. You know, guys, just sitting here looking uh, towards the field and our our man Corey down there man, man in the camera tonight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he is. Does a great job. Absolutely. What a treat. Slot left, wing right. He gives it to Griffith, and he is going to be wrapped up. Right back around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Second and goal from the five as we approach seven minutes in the game. Clock continues to run now down to seven minutes to play here in the night. You know, if the score is what's to hold, uh, Garrett wins and Mercer wins, it sets up a big uh, showdown next week. It sure does. Both teams could be 2-0 in district play as the Titans travel to Garrett County next Friday night. Pro White. Hayes has it, rolls out to the right, tucks it up inside the five. Touchdown, Touchdown. Touchdown. Titans, as the hands go up. Thaddeus Mays on his second score of the night. Mercer scores, and you can score as well. Get a job at Nesco Resource. Jobs are available in Harrodsburg, Danville, and Stanford. Call 859-238-0058. Watch this replay. And it's also a touchdown sponsored by Dr. Jennifer Nichols and her staff at the Harrodsburg Dental Center. It just looks for the little crease, mm -hmm. and that's all it takes. Gimpy nice getting surge. up on that play. Nice surge by the line there. 
Look at 54, 52 coming around, blocking for him. GG pull. Liam Potts on for the extra point attempt. Collier, Collier and Simrow on that. Nice job. Drakeford will be the holder here. High snap. Gets it down. The kick is up. And it is good. And a big drive for the Titans. 6.26 to play in the ballgame. Mercer 28. And Casey County 14. Back in one minute on your hometown radio network. Saturday night. <laughs> Coach Stoops and his squad are going to do a little tiger taming. Let's win this thing as a team. Let's go, baby. Missouri Tigers and your Kentucky Wildcats. Touchdown! The pregame show starts this Saturday evening at 5.30 with kickoff at 7.30. Song of your home for the Cats in the hits. WRNZ FM C105. Go Cats! Harrisburg Tire and Automotive is a full-service auto center providing a wide range of tire and auto care services. They provide customers with tires of all brands and sizes. Harrisburg Tire and Automotive can accommodate vehicles from small cars to dually trucks. They offer a lot of auto maintenance services including brakes, front-end work, alignments, engine repairs, computer diagnostics, tune-ups, oil changes, and so much more. North College Street next to Napa. Give them a call 734-4563. 734-4563 for Harrisburg Tire. All right, guys, that drive, don't forget, set up by the defensive stop on down. Second one of the night for the Titans, and then converting on that huge fourth down and two from the own 38. Todd, do you see that big open space over here on about the 20, 25-yard line near, near sideline? Oh, both of them. That's <laughs> where I'd put the ball right now. Yep. All right, Potts to kick it away. Kicks nice it high kick. Indeed. And it is going to be fielded down at the 13. Stevens out across the 15, 20. Or no, this is Price, I'm sorry. And he gets out close to the 30. They'll stop him right around the 27. Looks like we're, the Rebels will take over with 6.20 to play. Nice kick that time. It sure was. Speaking of kickers, I was telling Gary, uh, Gavin Wilson, uh, you know, Titans kicker from last year, is he ended up getting picked up and uh, is redshirting, but he is uh, down at Tennessee East Tennessee State now. Awesome! So he's that's great, awesome. Uh, great opportunity. Congrats him. to him. He's got a got a good opportunity to looking at his his future starting next year. Splits to each side. Slot left, split right. And Dominic Inside Stevens reverse. Stevens tries to reverse, and Mercer just all over that. Mm. And it is Ran blown right up in the backfield. Initial stop for Mercer County, 57 Mays, and also 55 Gavin Rodriguez. It was an inside reverse. Supposed to come back into the four hole, not be, not be bounced outside, and there was just nothing there. Flag was thrown back in the backfield. Personal foul. Hmm. Personal foul on the Titans. Hmm. I didn't see that. For what? That was a loss of about four on the play coming up, but unfortunately the 15-yard penalty moves it all the way out to the Rebel 44. 68, Elijah Norton. And 57, Kingston Mays on that stop. It's a weird call. So far at this point, Casey Kenny has zero penalties called against them. Trips left, split right. Price rolls out to the left, throws on the run, and the pass is caught over on the far sideline by Brown, and they're going to spot him with a catch made at the 43-yard line. You know, that's the second first down they picked up on that very pass play right there. It's about a 13 to 15-yard stop route. As the receiver, Brown, after making the catch, is now down over on the far sideline after picking up that first down. Clock will stop with 5.43 to play on your Thompson Service Center scoreboard. It is Mercer 28 and Casey 14. 
Mayor Sam Carr, write-in candidate for Harrodsburg Mayor, says go Titans and go vote. Paid for by Sam Carr for Mayor of Harrodsburg. It was just a cramp, I believe. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Rebels also had the big number 74 down here. As he looks like he's, he's still done. battling a cramp. Yep. Pick up a first down on the pass completion. They'll have it at the Mercer 43, first and 10. All right, here we go. Wide twins right, split left. Give it to Stevens, breaks one, gets away from another, has some room, wrapped up finally by Bennett as he gets maybe down to the 41. Tell you what, Bennett had, has had a great night defensively. Mercer had another opportunity to get hands on him back in the backfield. Picks up a couple yards, second and eight. Twins right, split left. Price rolling to the right, it's gonna keep it and looks for a run, has some room. Make Yates on the tackle as he gets down inside the 35 to the Mercer 34 yard line. It's gonna bring up third down and short. Going to bring up third and one. It's clock now underneath five minutes to play in the game. Slot left, split right, high backfield. Hands off Stevens, lowers his head. He will have the first down, continuing to push all the way down inside the Mercer 30. And they're going to let that play go for a long time. Hmm. And they're going to stop it at the 26. First down for the Rebels. Rebels looking to get quick play going again. Clock down to 410. First and 10. Rebels are going to line up trips left, split right. Price and shotgun. Price rolls out to the left. Deep, deep out Pass over time. there. Pass thrown, caught over on the far sideline. And he is down inside the 20, tackled around the 17. Guys, that's the same play. It's just a deep turnout, 12, 13 yards deep. Again, Caleb Brown on the reception. It's going to be just short of the first down, second down, one. I noticed our defensive back turned inside that time. Allowed him to create a lot of space there. Mm -hmm. Ball spotted to Mercer 17. Trips right, split left. Price just going to keep it behind the line. He will have the first down as he gets down close to the 11-yard mm. line, looks like. It's going to be first down at the Mercer 11. Mercer leading 28-14, 3.20 to play. Rebels on the drive. Trips right, split left. Price again, rolling to the right, looking for the opening, has a hole. Finally a flag thrown as he gets down close to the goal line. Going to be stopped short at the two. Holding is the call. And is that the first one tonight? That is the first, first. one. Wow. Actually, it looked like, a, looked like he said personal foul. Going to move it back. Trying to see the yard line there. Outside the 20 to the 22. 
And that was a huge penalty. It's going to be first down and 21. Trips left, split right. Price rolls to his There's left. Stop and go. Looking, looking, throws towards the end zone as a receiver out there. And it is caught. Touchdown. <laughs> that was a nice catch. That was a nice catch. 22-yard touchdown pass from Price to Caleb Brown. And the Rebels will line up for the extra point. Watch this. I wish we could zoom in on this. Yeah, he's in. Defensive Brown backs. second touchdown of the night. Defensive backs are letting our receivers get behind them. And Casey County missed a couple opportunities early. Kick is up, and the extra point is good. With 2.46 to play, it is Mercer 28, Casey 21. Back in one minute on your hometown radio network. Tire and Auto Care Services. They provide customers with tires of all brands and sizes. Harrisburg Tire and Automotive can accommodate vehicles from small cars to dually trucks. They offer a lot of auto maintenance services, including brakes, front end work, alignments, engine repairs, computer diagnostics, tune ups, oil changes, and so much more. North College Street, next to Napa. Give them a call 734 4563. 734 4563 for Harrisburg Tire. What makes Whitaker Bank uniquely Kentucky? With a wide range of products and services, we are here to provide you friendly, expert service for all of your banking needs. This is Rita McIntyre. I'm the relationship banker for Boyle, Garrett, and Mercer Counties. As part of your community, we are committed to building solid, long-term relationships. Call me at 859-733-4963. Let us show you what uniquely Kentucky means. Whitaker Bank, uniquely Kentucky, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. All right, here we go. Rebels score to cut the lead to 28-21. Here's the kickoff. Another onside attempt, and it's going to be fielded up front by oh Sanford. Go he gets through the line. 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. And a flag comes in way here in the back. Surely, gosh, it's not a block in the back. What a heads-up play by Sanford. Normally, those guys up front are told just get down with the ball, cover the ball up and protect it, but he just pulled it down and broke free. You know, and he attacked that ball. He, he didn't did. wait for it to come to him. He went after it. As He's a player, here. guys. And what a huge return. I'm going to go back to 2006. Talk to me. Freeman Edwards. Did Freeman exact- Edwards. <laughs> when he spiked it. <laughs> he I did. never <laughs> will forget it. It was an NFL-style spike, too. Yes, it was. <laughs> 15. Yeah. Let's see what uh, they're going to sort out here. They did signal touchdown, though, didn't they? I believe they did. But one official is standing on the 10-yard line. Well, it may have been after the play. Who knows? We just need to find out who it was on. Personal foul. Personal foul. Mercy. Murder against Mercy. After the play. After the play. Man. Special teams are such an important part of the game. All right, so that goes down. Todd, how far would that return be? What are you going to say? Uh, that would have been, I think he caught 50? it right at the 50. Right at the 50, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, Liam Potts on for the extra point attempt. Mays puts it down. Potts kick is blocked. And with 2.38 mm-hmm. to play on your Thompson Service Center scoreboard, it's now going to be Mercer 34 and Casey County 21. Back in one minute on your hometown radio network. I'm from Nicholsville, Kentucky. I've been singing for about seven years. I got into performance. I came to Studio G. I've been learning how to look good on stage, how to bring out my voice more in the songs that I sing, how to get confidence. I hear an immense difference in my voice compared to when I started coming here. Studio G is the performing arts place. To learn more, call 859-734-4394. Studio G, the G stands for growth. 
It's here. It's new. Filled with the best wide selection of vehicles just for you. Why not use the factory? Seven acres of pre-owned elite inventory makes them the largest deal maker around. Why not use the factory? So come on down to Nicholsville off US 27 to Vince Drive. Then you've arrived at the new Why not use the factory? Buy with confidence straight from the factory. Take a virtual tour at all right, here's Potts kick, high kick, and it will be into the. No, it didn't. Came back at the three and bounces back out. Casey Esta fielded right there. Mercer with another nice job on kickoff return coverage, and they're going to stop him. So Let's talk about that. Right around the, ball the crosses the line. It's dead. it's dead. Yeah. So I don't know. If it, it should be brought out to the twenty. I don't know if it didn't hit behind the line. I think it hit short of it. I mean, it's hard for us to see. With yeah. Yeah. you know, we're not up as high as we normally are. But I think it hit short and then it bounced back to around the four. But uh, th- th- you know, we thought the penalty he did signal towards Mercer mm-hmm. on the personal he foul, did. but it was actually called against the Rebels. He's he's been a little confused in his <laughs> <laughs> penalties there earlier too. So trips right, split left. Price. Pitches it over to Stevens. Stevens coming nice up. Nice open and field tackle. Nice tackle coming up. Was that Mays? Yes. I believe it was. Number one. That is Mays. Nice job there for Mays on the stop. Loss of four back to the, excuse me, to the six. So it's going to be second down 13. Clock approaching two minutes to play. I have to say, yes, Donovan Ellis, you are correct, sir. Special teams again. Trips left, split right. Price rolls to the left. Trying to get out, looking, throws on the run, passes deflected up Mm. in the air and incomplete. It's going to bring up third down. (coughs) Excuse me. Ball spotted at the Casey County seven-yard line. Third and 13. Trips left, split right. Price drops the throw from the end zone. Pressure coming, steps up, throws, and it's intercepted. Cam Bottoms picks it off. Nice job, Cam Bottoms. Telling you, young man has really improved. He's your leading tackler. That's his first pick. Garrett up 31 to 7 now. So it looks like it's very well going to be the two undefeated teams in district play next week. All right, Mercer will take over. Ball at their own. Twins right. 26. Here's Malachi Davis on the carry. His first of the night inside the 25, down close to the 24. He just ran right in the middle of that pile, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Timeout taken now as the clock stops at 138. Taken by Casey County. is your score here as we will have our post-game wrap-up for show and give out our awards here tonight. Look forward to the showdown next Friday night in Gary County. It's been a while since we've been there. This has been a good football game, though. I mean, it's back and forth. Uh, Mm. You know, Casey moved the ball a lot tonight. Casey's played a good football game. Missed a couple of players, looks like. And uh, Titans rose up and had some big plays when they needed them. Here's your formation. Twins right, split left. Two backs in the gun with Mays. 
Second down, seven. Mays with the – He's going to keep it this time. Wrapped up and hit hard mm. in the backfield for a loss outside the – all the way back to the 27. Casey County will take another timeout. Let's take it with them. It is 34-21. Mercer leading back in 30 seconds on your hometown radio network. When two flavors collide, the result is something magnificent. Co-starring chocolate alongside peanut butter. The Peanut Butter Crunch McFlurry Vanilla Soft Serve with crispy cereal mix and chocolatey peanut butter cookie pieces. Critics are giving this five stars. I'm a critic, and I give this five stars. See, told you. And I'm using a movie trailer voice, so you know it tastes good. The Peanut Butter Crunch McFlurry, rated T for tasty at McDonald's of Danville and Harrodsburg. All right, welcome back. 128 left to play here as Mercer's leading 34-21. Titans are going to be faced with third down and 11. You running or throwing it here? You got to run it. That's right. And force them to call their third, time, third and final timeout. Pro formation. Shotgun two back. Mays with a long count. Fakes the end off, drops back to throw. Has some time, looking, looking. And he's going to keep it now. Gets it down close to the 20. It's essentially a one receiver route that. Um, Excuse me, it goes 25. So it's going to be fourth and nine. So he took and the chance and um, maybe on the hopes that they found the. Found a spot where the receiver got behind the defender, but no chances there. And smart play by Mays. Dick Straten has just texted us a question. Who's our sister district for the playoffs? That will be uh, the district out of Louisville, Cal, and Central. Mm. So they're facing off. They were Cal was up what seven to nothing at halftime. Casey takes their third and final timeout. Mercer faced with a fourth down and nine from the Casey 26 yard line. All right, let's see what we got. Now you now you just go for it. You take a shot at the end zone here. Pro left. Mays drops the pass. Two As receiver time out. throws and not sure if that pass got deflected or not, but it's incomplete. And the Rebels will take over on downs. Clock stop with 1.12 to play in the ballgame. Rebels have no timeouts left. Mercer leads 34-21. <clears throat> All right. Trips right, split left. Price rolls out to his right. Looking, going to throw on the run, and the pass is in and out of the hands of the receiver up at the 35, incomplete. Mays, Bottoms, and Perry on the coverage there. One of the Casey County receivers fell down on his break out here. Ended up having two guys right next yep. to each other. Bunched up. Clock stops so with 107. Three by one. Price rolling. Sets his feet, throws, and the pass is Ooh. over the head of his receiver. <laughs> almost intercepted by Bottoms again. He had uh, – that would have been a hard one to catch. It was – was. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, he was there. Up. He was He was in great position. Good anticipation. Bring up third down and ten. Clock stopped with 101 to play. Three by one. Mm 
Price drops back. Pressure coming. Setting screen. up the screen and it's caught. And brought in by Stevens. He has the first down as he gets all the way across the 40, how close to the 46. I thought that one was going in the dirt. He, he had to have one-handed that off the turf. I believe you're correct. I'm not saying it hit the turf, but, I mean, he made a great catch. First down for the Rebels. Here we go, two by two. Clock down to 40 seconds. Price drops. Pressure going. Throwing deep down Three the verticals. field. And it is going to be intercepted by Thaddeus Mays. Mays picks it off, and he is tackled at the 20-yard line. That'll do it. Casey County, no timeouts left. Mercer will take a knee. This should be the final play. The three interceptions on the night for the Titans. It, it is. is. Wow. Impressive. And that's May's third for the season. I think that brings our total to 12 interceptions as a team. Titans will take over on their own 20-yard line after the pick. 29.6 seconds. And... Lining up in the victory formation. Hmm. And Mays will take the snap, take the knee. That should be your ball that game. That should do it. All right, and your final score on your Thompson Service Center scoreboard, Titans with a hard-fought victory here tonight, 34-21 over Casey County. We'll return back in four minutes on your hometown radio network. Hey, Joe Mathis. Yes, Radio Rick. This is the 20th season of the Pigskin Report. We're going to be live at the Harrodsburg Pizza every Monday night from 6 to 7. We'll be live on WHIR and WHBN interviewing the head football coaches at Danville, Boyle County, Mercer County, Garrett County, Lincoln County, and head football coach Andy Fry of Center College and UK coach Mark Stoops. That's the 20th year of the Pigskin Report, live at the Harrodsburg Pizza Hut, Monday nights from 6 to 7 on WHBN 99.5 FM, WHIR FM 103.9, and hometownlive.net. They done did it again. Gave a great deal and made a new friend. Where is this, you say? Well, this Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Lawrenceburg is the way. With first class service and a spin of the wheel. For some extra gifts after your new car deal, check out the inventory at ChryslerLawrenceburg.com and head on down to US 127 to the new Withers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Lawrenceburg. Today is your deal of the day, and Withers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Lawrenceburg is the way. Throughout its history, Hitachi Ostomo Americas has been synonymous with safety, quality, and continuous improvement. Adhering to these values has enabled us to succeed as an innovative supplier of world-class products to the global automotive market. With over 1,000 employees at our Harrisburg facility, we strive each day to exceed the expectations of our customers. Find out more about our opportunities at careers.hitachi.com. Hitachi Ostomo Americas is an equal opportunity employer. Hey, Joe Mathis. Yes, Radio Rick. It's the 20th season of the Pigskin Report. We're going to be live at the Harrodsburg Pizza Hut every Monday night from 6 to 7. We'll be live on WHIR and WHBN interviewing the head football coaches at Danville, Boyle County, Mercer County, Garrett County, Lincoln County, and head football coach Andy Fry of Center College and UK coach Mark Stoops. That's the 20th year of the Pigskin Report, live at the Harrodsburg Pizza Hut. Monday nights from 6 to 7 on WHBN 99.5 FM, WHIR FM 103.9, and hometownlive.net. Shop and save at Bob Allen GMC. Hi, I'm John Welsh. Lease a new 23 GMC Sierra 1500 4 before for only $199 a month for 24 months. 5317 plus first payment and taxes due at signing. 10,000 lease miles per year. Stock number 23327. Must be GM lease loyalty. Bob Allen GMC on Maple Avenue in Danville or shop online anytime at BobAllenMotorMall.com. GMC, we are professional grade. Papa John's fans have the craziest things to say about our special garlic sauce. That they want to bathe in it, drink it, some even want to marry it. Come on! Now, inspired by all your love, we created our most epic pizza ever. The new garlic epic sauce has yards. that flavor. Get it on it. That's right. This pizza has that Papa John's garlicky goodness hand stuffed into that cheesy crust and then baked all over it. The new garlic epic stuffed crust pizza available for $13.99 only at Papa John's. 
What does it mean to believe in something, to truly support and get behind it, to be committed and invested in making sure it succeeds and grows? At First Financial Bank, we go beyond banking, providing resources for dreams that matter and giving back to projects that make a difference as our family grows our commitment to serve the community grows with it first financial bank because together we're better first financial bank member fdic located in harrodsburg at the corner of college and childs all right welcome back back here at casey county high school wrap up report brought to you by custom promotional products at harrodsburg the official game attire of the rooster custom promotional products has you covered for your favorite team wear all your embroidery needs visit with cindy and larry in harrodsburg on lexington street or give them a call at custom promotional products 734-5222 and we'll do a quick recap of the scoring in the second half as mercer had a 21 to 7 halftime lead as Casey County uh, took the ball and went down the field and had a 40-yard, or, or excuse me, after turning it back over to Mercer, uh, Kayla Brown had a 40-yard interception return for the touchdown, the pick six, with 4.56 to play in the third quarter, extra point kick, cut the lead to 21-14. Mercer came back, had the ball as they were going down, and uh, one of the one of our big plays here tonight uh, was the, the Mays five-yard touchdown run Potts' extra point kick was good with 6.26 left in the fourth quarter. Put Mercer up two scores, 28-14. But another, we had a couple big plays in that. We're going to talk about that later. But another time, the Titan defense turned it over on down as Casey was driving and trying to score to tie the game. Rebels came back and scored with 2.46 to go. Brown had a 22-yard touchdown pass in the back corner of the end zone. Extra point kick cut the lead to 28-21 with 2.46 to play. And on the ensuing kickoff on an onside kick attempt, Caleb Sanford picked off the the high bounce and ran it 50 yards to the house for the touchdown. The extra point attempt was blocked, and that was our final score at 34-21. Todd, time for Mr. Todd Stats. What you got for us there, boss? Uh, Casey County ran a total of 60 plays tonight, uh, 20 more than Mercer, uh, for a total of 302 yards total offense. They had 164 yards on 38 carries, and they were two of 22 for 138 yards. However, Mercer uh, was able to pull off three interceptions, almost had a fourth there, but uh, walk away with three interceptions tonight. Uh, Casey County had 19 first downs, two penalties for 25 yards, and their time of possession for the night was 28 minutes and 38 seconds. For the Titans, they were 5-9 in the, in the air for 58 yards and 31, of, or 31 plays for 162 yards on the ground. On 40 plays, Mercer's total offense was 220 yards. They had 12 first downs. Their time of possession was 19 minutes and 22 seconds. Uh, they had four penalties for 35 yards. Casey Kenny had two penalties for 25 yards. Individual stats for the Titans tonight. Uh, Malachi Davis had two carries for two yards. Drakeford had six carries for 27 yards. Uh, Griffith had 11 carries for 65 yards. And Mays had 12 carries for 68 yards. Uh, in the PAT category, Mercer was two of four. And that's your stats for the night. Let me get a picture of that before we leave. Uh, I will say uh, Mercer did have one interception, uh, or two, two. two interceptions tonight. Yep. All right, well, let's jump right into our awards. Uh, we'll talk about those uh, as we got uh, to give out our weekly awards. First up, let's do the Titan play of the game. Play of the game courtesy of Custom Promotional Products, home for your Titan attire. What did you say, play of the game? Play of the game, yes, sir. <laughs> well, we're going to go plays of the game because okay. uh, there were there was a – I mean, uh, this game, it, it was a good high school football game. It really was a very competitive mm-hmm. game. But uh, you saw some of the – you saw some good plays overall, but then you saw some of the – uh, more unoriginal plays. And so uh, one of the uh, the plays of the game was the 27-yard touchdown uh, to Bottoms. Uh, I mean, just a phenomenal catch. It, I didn't think there was any way he was he was going to, as a matter of fact, I thought it was going to be intercepted because he was he was in great position, but Bottoms found some way to reach around him and make the catch and rip it away from him. So, uh, you know, that was that was just a, a great play by, by Bottoms. Nice ball by 
uh, Mays as well. Uh, the other play is, is one that I, I think that really helped seal it for the Titans, uh, the onside kick, and Sanford picked it up, took it 50 yards to the house. Yep. So, All right, two, two big plays there, huge yep. plays. All right, uh, next up is your CC Auto Parts and Service Titan Player of the Game. It's brought to you by CC Auto Parts and Service. Get your car to perform like the Titan Player of the Game. Player of the Game has to be Gage Ben at number 51. This guy just was a madman out there on, on, on the turf tonight. I mean, he just made big play after big play, and um, I, his stock is just rising, and, I, and I, you know, I, not enough good things you can say about him, but he had some great plays at, at, at great times in the ball game because this was one of those ball games that was, you know, I know what the score is, but still, this is a very time. close yes. football game. Yes, it was. You know, very Gage Bennett, so. number 51. Yeah, yeah. it's a great game. Yeah, absolutely. Great to see uh, him step up and have a big game tonight. All right, your A.J. Carr and Drackling Wash lineman of the game. If your vehicle is like the lineman who play hard and get dirty, then you need to visit with A.J.'s Carr and Drackling on Joseph Drive. You know, we talk about number 70, our starting center, um, all the time, Mason Kirkland. What a great job he does. Nothing starts until until he sets it in motion. But uh, this guy came over and played some defensive guard tonight on the other side of the football and just had a very good football game, you know. One of the things we don't have to worry about this with this team is the center quarterback exchange, yep. and, and we all know how we often you know ignore how important that is. But but uh, it's it's smooth. It's something you do not have to worry about. But um, Mason just did a great job tonight on both sides of the football. I'm very proud of him. Number seventy. Yep. Finally, which tight will make the delivery tonight? And for all of your supplies, whether it's a package, postal needs, or office supplies, go to 101 Business Solutions located at the Harrisburg Herald. And let 101 handle all of your business needs. Yeah, I want to take you back to the, the very first play of the fourth quarter. Mercer comes out, fourth and two, and um, Mays takes the snap and goes 15 yards for the first down. Uh, Mercer was on their own 30, what, 30, 38. Or 38. Yep. And uh, yep. just, I mean, uh, that's that's one where, where everybody says, man, that's a gutsy call. Yeah. If he doesn't get it, that was, that was not a very smart call. But uh, it was just uh, I, that that right there just shows that, that uh, the staff has just 100% trust in their offensive line, uh, the, the backfield blocking. And, and so uh, they just did a great job. Just a simple – I mean, it was just a simple – uh, direct snap and go, and, and they did not waste any time. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, they blew the whistle, and within two seconds they were on the run, and, and it was just. Uh, I think that was huge. You, you know, it is a win. Yeah, it's a win. It was a good game to watch if you're a fan. But I can't help but think what these coaches are thinking right now because if two or three things don't fall our way, this scoreboard does not does not read this the same way. Pass dropped in the end zone being one of them. Yeah. Right. So. That's getting beat twice yes. deep. Yeah. Yep. Uh-oh. All right, well, let's talk. We'll talk a little bit more about that. They're needing us to take one more break, okay. and then we'll come back and wrap it up and look forward to next week. Yep. Big game yeah, next yeah. week. All right, James, we'll send it back to you one more time. You're listening to Mercer Football on the Hometown Radio Network. It's here. It's new. Filled with the best wide selection of vehicles just for you. Right at used car factory. Seven acres of pre-owned elite inventory makes them the largest deal maker around. Right at used car factory. So come on down to Nicholsville. 